nervous. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Okay. Five, five, six, five. seven, eight. I'm just kidding. back to the channel. Today we have something a little bit different. I have a special guest for you guys. This is my boyfriend, Gunnev. What's up, guys? I have no makeup on for a reason. He's gonna be putting together a little masterpiece and we'll see how well he does. Are you ready? Um, no, no, I'm like... Um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you... I'm looking at a bunch of makeup <laughs> that you have and it is so overwhelming. For those of you that don't know, I am a makeup artist and kind of always sees that side of me too. So I feel like he knows enough to make a good look out of this. Um, he also decided that he had a look in mind. What are we doing for the look today? We're gonna go with a fall themed makeup oh. look. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. so I know, right? I learned from the best. I gave him a pretty decent selection of products to choose from. Obviously, he doesn't have to use all of them. He can use as many or as few as he wants. We're gonna be the MUA today, so. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, mind you, yes. everyone does their makeup differently. Uh -huh. So you can really start essentially however you'd like. Here, let me see your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think from what you told me in the past, we start off with the concealer. Now let me see if I can even find it. Is this concealer? Okay, let's just find it. <laughs> Full coverage. Full coverage. Is that a lot? <laughs> Coverage can vary, it can be light coverage, it can be full coverage. Uh -huh. This concealer is full coverage, aka it's, it's thicker. Okay. The Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. Wow, what an MUA. A lot. Okay, I clearly use a little too much. <laughs> it's already such a bad. Is there a reason why you're using your finger? Because I don't think a brush would fit here. You definitely should look at all the brushes. To be honest though, I do apply my concealer with my finger a lot of the time because it often melts the product into your skin better. Do you know the difference between concealer and foundation? Concealer is meant to... <laughs> concealer is supposed to like help with like dark circles or whatever and then foundations for your whole face. Okay. Blended it pretty decently. Oh no, never mind. Okay guys, I'm also not allowed to look at the camera. So just FYI, I have no clue what I look like. Okay, what next? Foundation. Sure. Okay, so what I'm using right now is the Wet n Wild <laughs> Foundation Desert Beige. Did you tell them what you're using? I'll spawn your <laughs> first impression of me. I don't think we actually even paid any mind to each other when we first met. For those of you that don't know, we didn't even really take a second look at first, but... Yeah, it was just like one of those, hey, nice to meet you, on to the next one. <laughs> no, but like, there's like a bunch of people to shake hands yeah. with. So we met at a house party and... Um, we didn't know too many people there. We were just meeting so many people that we didn't really think twice when it came to talking to each other and stuff. It just kind of like when in passing, hey, how are you? Okay, cool. Yeah. I think my first impression of you was that you were like very well groomed and well put together. Lash grip. Okay, so I guess this is the like blue for the lashes. Where's the lashes though? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with these ones. Voluptuous. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just like them out of the other two pairs, so I think I'm gonna go with these. impression of you was that you were very well put together and this was obviously before we started talking but then as we started talking um, I guess I just kind of realized you had a lot of depth to you. I personally think that it's nicer to let your actions speak louder than your words and if you're someone who always like goes out of your way to say what you do or who you are and stuff it's almost like you're trying to overcompensate for your character so it was really nice that you were kind of like an understated character at first. As I got to know you I just yeah. discovered a lot of things about you. It yeah, look looked pretty good. They feel comfortable. Yeah. You didn't glue my eyes shut, so that's good. <laughs> What's next? Okay, though? what next? Um eyeshadow. Yeah, let's do that. So this is the I think eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use. It's from Huda Beauty. And then yeah, it's like warm brown and obsession. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Obsessions. Very nice. Mm-hmm. I feel like a proper makeup artist. Wow. wow. <laughs> so what was your first impression of me? Just by the way we were talking, I could tell you're like a considerate person. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just very like 
innocent and like down to earth. We still talk about it pretty much every day about how consideration is so important in our relationship. It was one of the first things we talked about and it's still just as important if not more now. So it's definitely a pillar in our relationship. So what color are you playing on my eyes? I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully I don't drop it off. Focus. Okay, there we go. I'm using this one right now. That actually looks pretty good. I have a question for you. Okay. Um, how did you feel when we went for our first date? I just felt like a multitude of things. I felt butterflies because I hadn't Whoa, been on a date for I so long. Heard this. I was nervous because I was just kind of like, you know, when you meet someone at a party, there's so much excitement and stuff. You're meeting new people and all that. So it's just kind of like, you know, people can be different at a party than they are outside. Mm -hmm. um, in a different setting. Do you want me to close my eyes? Yeah. My eyes? Close. Oh, also, what are you using? Tell them what you're using. Okay, this time I'm using the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. We hung out pretty much every day. For a month straight. I don't know if you did this for a reason, but he put off this formal date for a little while and he just so happened to ask me out officially when we went on this date. So when this date actually happened, I had the same feelings as the first day that we hung out inside the party. So funny, I remember us talking about it at dinner too. We were both so nervous and so quiet and then when it came to like asking each other why we were feeling that way, we were just like, I don't know, like I feel like I just met you, I'm so nervous. I and couldn't stop like smirking. Did you go for her? Eye. No, just covered up the eyelash glue. Just kept it subtle. Really? Less is more, you know? <laughs> so for the highlighter, this is probably my favorite part. <laughs> I think I know how to do it. Um, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I'm gonna go with the Forever Young. This one right here. Right there, because I think it's subtle but still catches your eye. Mm, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I messed it up. I thought I would kill this part. It's so patchy. I can see it already. Now I know what to look for when you say makeup's patchy. <laughs> I think I'm almost done. I'm gonna leave your eyebrows the way they are because I don't know what the hell to put them on. Let me find the lift shit. Ooh. What are you going for? Fall. Okay. But what I don't is know, just earthy dark tones. Okay, the, the MAC lipstick matte in the color stone. How did you feel on our first date? Same thing, I just felt really, really nervous. You having fun? Mm -hmm. I think I've been here for a while. I think you used half the lipstick bullet on my lips. Okay, where's the setting spray? If I can find it. I think I'm done with the look. Okay. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Oh god, that's powerful. This one from the front. Missed, but okay. okay, so I think I am all done. Are you ready? I don't know. I'm nervous <sighs> Okay, so what's your overall thoughts? Honestly though from far? It's not bad. You did miss a few little things like my eyebrows are It's your fault. You didn't teach me <laughs> Just because the eyes and the lips are pretty bold. I think my eyebrows look extra naked but overall, it's not too bad. People get away with way worse than this. You totally missed contour though. I mean, I guess you made it work with the blush. Yeah. You cheated the contour with the blush. Yeah. That's not the only bad. type of cheating I'll ever do. <laughs> the lashes were applied well. Um, the eyeshadow color is really nice. Interestingly applied, but it's okay. I think overall, it's not, not so bad. bad. Yeah, overall, you did well. The main question is, would you hire me again? <laughs> I think I'd probably go for no makeup. <laughs> so after doing my makeup, do you have anything that you have to say? It's definitely a lot harder than it looks. Kudos to people who can do it well, and also kudos to people who can't do it well because then they hire people like her. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really hard to do, but if you can pull it off, thumbs up to you. But I also think it's an unfair advantage because if you're a dude and you're ugly, you have literally no escape. <laughs> <laughs> All we have is our little beards and haircuts, and if you can't grow neither of them, you're screwed, so. Let us know in the comments. If you saw me walking on the street, would you be like, oh my god, damn, like this girl has no clue what she's doing with her makeup, or would you be like, oh, okay, whatever. I don't know. If you saw me, since we talked so much about first impressions, what would you think if you saw me like this? I question who your makeup artist was. <laughs> Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of my makeup artist as well as the look that he created. This was really fun. Thank you for being on my channel. I actually liked it. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and I will see you guys back here soon. Bye.